Hi, I'm Annie Fitzsimmons. I'm your Washington Realtors Legal Hotline lawyer. This is another episode in our series looking at implementation of the agency law revisions effective January 1st, 2024. I get a question regarding agency agreements with tenants, or should I say the need for agency agreement with tenants? And you might think this question is limited only to property managers, but it's not because I get the question from brokers who own their own rental properties, and, and meaning that br brokers who are in fact themselves landlords. And here's the question. If I'm a property manager representing the landlord, or if I am a landlord, then am I required to enter a services agreement with a tenant? I'm gonna introduce the tenant to the property. I'm gonna show them around the property. I'm gonna draft a lease that the tenant's gonna sign. So do I have to have a tenant services agreement? It's form 41T with that tenant. And the answer is no, you don't. If you're representing the landlord or if you are the landlord and the tenant has asked you to show them the, the property or write a lease so that they can lease the property, then your client is the landlord and you have a brokerage services agreement with the landlord or you are the landlord. So you don't need a brokerage services agreement with a tenant in order to be in compliance with the law because you have that brokerage services agreement with the landlord. And then the tenant is an unrepresented party in this leasing transaction, which means that before the tenant signs a lease, you must deliver a copy of the agency law pamphlet to the tenant, letting the tenant know that they are unrepresented in this transaction. You represent the landlord exclusively or you are the landlord. The tenant is unrepresented when they enter this lease. So in this scenario, brokers, where you represent the landlord or you are the landlord, you're gonna deliver the agency law pamphlet to the tenant, but you are not going to enter a tenant services agreement with that tenant. If you did, it would change entirely the character of your representation of landlord. You would now become a dual agent. You would no longer be landlord's exclusive agent. And I suspect many landlords out there will have not consented to you being a dual agent. So do not make the mistake of entering a tenant services agreement when your intention is to represent the landlord exclusively. If you have questions on this topic or any other, ask me a question by visiting warealtor.org. Thank you for being a Washington Realtors member.